Hello there, I'm Rylan, and we're going to be talking about how to mine the cryptocurrency Miyaxa. If you want to find out more about this coin, I made a YouTube short about it, and I'll leave the link to that in the description as well, and I'll also leave the link to their Discord server, Miyaxa's Discord server, in the description as well. Before we start here, I want to give a huge thanks to Hawk right here. He gave me this shirt here, you see Hawk Mining Co. Also has the American flag right here, and then the Discord Misfits Mining logo right there. I'll leave the link for the Discord in the description below. Anyway, I just want to say a huge thanks to Hawk for this shirt. I really appreciate it. I'll leave the link for his YouTube channel in the description below. Y'all should all go subscribe to him. Thanks again, Hawk. Anyway, let's hop in. We're going to find out how to mine the cryptocurrency Neoxa. So let's get into the softwares and services that we'll be using. Links for everything will be in the description of this video, so you'll be able to click those and all four things that I have right here in my tabs, you'll be able to get to. The software to actually mine it that we're gonna be using is gonna be T-Rex Miner. This website right here is the GitHub for T-Rex Miner. You're gonna click the link here that says win.zip and you, it's gonna start downloading the files. Just click save, go save it in your downloads there. And then the next software that we're gonna need is MSI Afterburn. Now you can use any overclocking software that you want to. This is just the industry standard for overclocking because it's compatible with both Nvidia and AMD GPUs. This is the software, I already have it installed, but you would just click download and then you would run the installer. And it's pretty easy to set it up from there. Then the pool that we're gonna use is, is two miners. They just added Neoxa as one of their pools, so we get to be the some of the first people to mine on here. There's a whole guide here, step by step, of how you can start mining Neoxa if, if you wanna just read through this and do it yourself. But I'm just gonna walk you through the rest of it. Now one more thing here, we're gonna need a wallet to store a Neoxa. Now here's the downloads page for the Neoxa wallet. Uh, right now, it is only their core wallet. It's literally a copy-paste code of the Ravencoin wallet, except for it's for their currency, Neoxa. Once you actually download this, you're gonna go through the setup process and you'll save your seed phrase. And don't share that with anybody, because that you can get access to your wallet to. Now, you'll also need to save this file here if you ever for a backup if you want to back it up. This wallet.dat file right here. You're gonna save that and then on the next computer that you download it on, you're gonna paste that after you set this wallet up in where this file for that wallet would be, if that makes sense. Anyway, this is get, that's getting too confusing, but let's move forward. So we have the T-Rex mining software right here, but we're gonna need to do a few things to set this up. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create a new folder right here. We can call this whatever we want to. We can call it mining software. Okay, and then we're gonna go look up Defender, and you know, bring up Windows Security, and we're gonna go to Virus and Threat Protection, and then click Manage Settings right here, and then Add an Exclusion. Now the it'll ask you, do you really want to add it? And now it'll come to this page here, and the reason we need to add an exclusion is because. Windows Defender will see mining softwares as viruses. They are not viruses just with the nature of how they work. They uh, they are flagged down by Windows Defender as viruses. So let's create an exclusion here. Click Add Exclusion Folder. And then we're going to go to Desktop, if I can find it. That's right there. And then Mining Software. Select Folder. And that has an exclusion. So we're going to move the T-Rex software inside the Mining Software folder. Then we're gonna right click the folder and then click to extract all. Then extract. All right, and this is what we get right here. We can delete this one right here, the zipped up one. And then this is what we get inside of there. Okay, now that we have the mining software right here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna find Raven. We can right click uh, one of the ones that start with Raven. Raven here, it says Raven.2miners. We're gonna right click that and then click edit. We're going to click more info and then run anyway. And then it'll open up notepad here. Let me zoom in here so you can see it better. Let me get that up there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in with our own information. So let's get the address that we need to start off with. Here's the page that I was at earlier. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Notice how they have a Europe server here and no other. Right now, that's the only option that they have. I live in the US and I'm connecting to this server in Europe. If they in the future have one from the US, use that one if you're in the US or use the closest one to you. We're gonna copy this address here and then paste it right here. 
and then that should be it for that part and then we're gonna want to put in our own wallet address so we're gonna open up the Miaxa wallet and here mine is still syncing with the blockchain I'm having a few problems with that and we're gonna click receive right there and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click request payment and then copy this address right here you can click copy address or you can just highlight this like I am and click copy close and then paste it in right here and you get to keep this address for however long it does not expire and then the dot rig here you can just name it whatever you want to I'm gonna name it dot tech and crypto because why not all right now that this is set up we can close this we can we can close or minimize the wallet and then we can just run this file here now we do want to set up MSI Afterburner accordingly. So we're going to turn the fans up because Kapow is the algorithm it uses and it is a extremely power intensive algorithm. I'm going to try and keep this temperature as low as possible here. And then the, turn up the memory clock and the core clock. And then I'll power limit it. Anyway, over, this isn't a video about overclocking. You can overclock to your heart's content. Usually if you find an overclock for Ravencoin, it's going to work well on here. And you're mining away. You are set to go here. I'll zoom in here for you. Uh, this is the mining software. It's going away. And we can look at our statistics on the pool. If we just take our address that we copied and then paste it in there. Click enter. Now, nothing should show up here. Yeah, nothing's going to show up for right now. But, uh, oh, there it is. It's right there. I was mistaken. You can let this run for however long you want it to run. You know, you, you got your overclocking software right here, and we are good to go. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like the video if you liked it, if you found it educational. Subscribe as well for more content like this. Again, big thanks to Hawk right here for giving me this shirt. Bye.